Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy and I have a tutorial Tuesday for you that we are going to be using quite a few different items from different companies. So it's a cool, very cool mashup, I think, tonight. So as you can see, uh, I still have, I have our palette that we've been playing with with the Bargain Bead Box for February. And I've got the beads all situated right here. These are the ones that came in the box. And then these are the ones I'm adding. I am adding some bright green to this today. So that is in addition to our palette. But as you can see, it's still an analogous color, so it still goes. And the reason I chose these is because we're going to play with some silver silk today. And this is the pipe, pipe chain. Pipe. I'm sorry. I'm saying that wrong. I want to say it's... Uh, pipe. Wow, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna link this in my description. It has a, the holes in the in the middle here because we're gonna string our soft flex in this beautiful amethyst color through here to kind of pick up these fun colors from the box. And I'm also gonna use this teal piece today and I think we may make uh, another dragonfly or two uh, if you saw last night's video you know what I'm talking about if you did not don't despair I will be making those and uh, putting I'll probably just make one and put them on the front of this guy is what I'm thinking so this stuff is really fun I've got uh, about I think eight inches or so that I cut and when you order this, this is Neelay Patel's company, Silver Silk. They have different types of mesh, really cool stringing materials. And then they also have um, a lot of the findings that you need to finish off the ends or add things. Uh, but tonight, what I thought I would do is I'm going to play with this. And I'm going to play with the soft flex. And then... Um, We'll do our little dragonfly. So these colors are super bright. So I wanted to pick up, I grabbed these little rondelles to pick up that green, that spring green. We've got spring coming. And I also um, pulled out some of these seed beads I got from Adornable Elements. Now I don't know if I'll use these or not, but look at this mix. This has the green and the purple in it. Uh, so... That's going to be fun. And then I did pull some of these check beads as well that I showed uh, with the mix yesterday. So really what I want to start with is making this, I'm going to move the, I want to make the pendant and do a little wire wrapping treatment. And then from the wire wrapping treatment, I want to hang one of the little dragonflies. So I'm going to grab some I think I'm going to grab some 18 gauge silver and I'm going to pull a generous amount. And I'm going to try not to hit the camera. Hardy har. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> and then let me get rid of this sharp edge here. So this particular focal piece already has a hole through it, which is very helpful. So I'm going to make a really big bale and then I'm going to just wrap some of this and I might add, I might add some 24 gauge wire and add a few more embellishments, but we'll see. But this is going to be the main, the main piece. And then I might do I was thinking of maybe playing off that shape and grabbing these guys and putting them on either side of it. We will see how that goes because I might want to make a form for that. We'll get to that. Stringing, it's not going to take long because I'm not going to do a very complicated stringing. I want all the attention to be on the front here. So I'm just going to give this a quick 
warm. And we're going to make our bale, and we're going to make a big one. That's a pretty sizable gemstone. And I want to have a nice big loop. So I think I'm going to use... Let me check these real quick. I think I'm going to need the bigger ones. My bale making pliers. I think I'm going to use the largest setting on those. Just so that guy has room. And right now I'm just making the bale. So there's our loop. This guy's pretty chunky monkey, so I want to make sure he has plenty of room to... This is a really pretty dyed agate that I got from Bargain Bead Box a while back. I love shopping on Bargain Bead Box. I think I need to loosen that up just a tad. Yeah. Okay. So if you get kind of a little cattywampus situation like this, don't worry. You can come back and make that round again with your pliers. And I'm not super concerned. That's the back of the piece. I just want this to be able to hang nicely. We're gonna put some embellishments, so it's not gonna be that noticeable. But let me just do a wrap real quick. I think that's plenty. And I'm going to trim this on the back. Push that down. Okay. Now here comes the fun part. We are going to... Let me see. Do I want to add a bead to that? Hmm. Let me make sure these guys fit on here. Because this is 18 gauge wire, by the way, that I'm using. This is a pretty heavy duty stone. Let me just straighten that up a bit. Yep, already hitting the camera. <laughs> That's what happens. Okay, and then I'm going to come back through and make another loop. I'm not trying to overthink this. I, I kind of like it when... I, I always do better with the wire when I... Just let it kind of tell me what it wants to do. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I, I don't have a plan for how this is going to look. Um, I just know that I want some movement on the piece. And so as I play with this, sorry to be off camera, but I'm trying not to smack the camera there. All right, so now we have, so for sure I'm gonna warm this and kind of bring that around. A little gentle sloping around that bead. And then maybe we'll Okay. I'm 
Yeah, the 18 gauge, if you have um, sensitive hands, you might want to go to um, 20 gauge. If you, if you, if your hands hurt, it's, it's easy to use once you warm it, but it's not as easy as some others. So I want to bring this forward. Okay. Okay, now what? <laughs> Let me move some of these guys before they go flying. About once or twice a week, I have to go crawl around on the floor on a bead reconnaissance mission from all the beads that I've dropped. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not alone. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to gently let's see. Maybe I should come to the back. All right. Now I'm not trying to cage this because it's got the hole. I'm just wanting to do some wire um, work around it. So if I didn't have the um, the hole, then I would have to make a bale. I'm gonna gently tuck that in there. But I just want a little bit of a, whoops, a little bit of a swooping. Swooping gesture. I want to come back through here. The 18 gauge is a little bit tricky. I think if I were to do this over again, I might do the 20 gauge. And who knows, we may have to do it over. <laughs> if I don't like it. <laughs> but I think a little curly cue. Let me grab this. We're going to hang. I wanted something to hang the dragonfly off of, if you're wondering. And we're also going to come in with some smaller gauge wire and kind of make some of this look a little, this is just the foundation of our piece. And if we don't have enough time tonight to finish the necklace, then I will continue it tomorrow night. I don't like to make the videos super, super long, you know, just because, I don't know about you, but even when I'm enjoying Watching somebody, I I tend to fall asleep if, I, if they're too long. <laughs> I know that's silly, but oh, there we go, hitting the camera. Sorry. Um, but I, I guess I'm just, you know, relaxed. And then people tell me that my voice relaxes them. So then that makes me wonder. <laughs> my niece particularly, she's like, I always, your voice is so soothing, I fall asleep. Well, I'm glad she's getting sleep, but I don't want people to fall asleep in my videos. <laughs> so I don't want to make them too long. You know what I mean? All right. So this is very simple. Um, it's not... Uh, super complicated, but I think... I think I want to add some other wire. I'm gonna do some 20 gauge. It's a little bit more in my wheelhouse, this gauge. But that was such a chunky monkey, I didn't wanna 
do something and then have it snap or, you know, unbend. So let's see what we can do here. I love to play with wire. There's no right or wrong with it. That's why I like it. And even if it's a little bit off kilter, I think people, when they see it, can appreciate the effort that went into it. <laughs> you know? And it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I mean? Um, I wish I had the precision some of these folks have um, with the wire. And maybe I'll get there one day, but... Right now, uh, I'm still learning myself and trying to get comfortable with it. So that's kind of fun. I don't want to do too much, but I think I will make another little spiral up here. I like making the spirals, if you've noticed. And um, they're not they're not hard to do. And even if they're not super round, they're still very cute, I think. And this is kind of going to be a, a very boho looking piece when we're done. I also have some silk that I might use to, um, maybe I'll tuck that under there. Nope. No, I will not. <laughs> uh, let's see. See, that's what I mean by the wire telling you. <laughs> it's like, no, you're not doing that. Okay, fine. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm the wire whisperer quite yet. That would be Jem, <laughs> who I know you all watch, and I just adore her. First of all, I could listen to that accent all day. And secondly, I always learn something really cool from her. I aspire. She gives me hope that I can do it. So that's kind of cute. You know, I don't think I'm going to take the wire working uh, world by storm, but I like it. And it's nice because you can really, I don't know if you can see, this is pretty translucent. So I like that, that there's not a lot of wire. So I think we're going to stick with that. And then what my thought was maybe put a little dragonfly Let's see what we can do with that. So our little dragonflies. We need one of these bad boys. Thanks for all the comments. A lot of you really like the dragonflies. I think they're super cute. And um, they certainly were fun to make. They're fun. So I have no problem making another one. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do like a dark purple for his face. I'm gonna dump these out so I can get to the bead caps that came in the box. So yeah, all analogous colors. This is really a pretty, pretty way to go, I think. Okay, so let's grab some more 24 gauge. And I enjoyed making those little loop-de-loos at the end of his tail. So I'm going to do that some more. Just like that. Now we'll grab our little beads. These little micro faceted 
beads or something else. A couple of those. One of these. Another one of these. So now we have our, our little tail. And we'll slide the body on. Bead cap. It was super warm today here, you guys. I was halfway expecting to see some some little bugs out. Cha-Cha wanted to be out like, oh, every other minute. I had to keep getting up and letting her out because she was enjoying that sunshine. And then she rolled around in the grass, so we had to, she loves to do that. <laughs> and all the grass is dry. It's amazing how fast it gets dry around here. All right. So I just made a loop, a wire wrap loop. And we're gonna snip the end. And, oh, let's see, make sure no pieces are sticking out. Now, I may loosen this so I can get him on here. I either can do, I, get, I can do a couple of things. Let me think about where I want to put him. So if I wanted to put him like up here, I could probably undo that loop and hang him. Let me give him a little curve and hang him like this. If I put him down here, I think, well, that might be kind of cute. I do more than one, but I think I'm going to just stick to one tonight. So really, it's designer's choice where you want it. So I like that. I think it's going to be easier to do this. So, I'm going to pinch this. I made that a little bit narrow so I could get him on here. Some of this is engineering. I'm going to come back with some smaller gauge wire and make sure that doesn't go anywhere. And also right here. So let's do that right now. Again with the 20, I think the 24 will work. We're going to anchor him. Could do 26 gauge in there or two if you want. And this is me experimenting with wire. This is, you know, new to me. If I'd had the forethought, I would not have closed that loop. I wonder if I can open that loop, though. Even though I just smished it. Let's see. Eureka. Let me hook him on there. I 
think that'll be better. Yeah. And now I will close that back up. I know that that is really close quarters, but I basically just opened the loop a little and now I'm gonna close it. I am still gonna reinforce with the other wire What's nice is the 24 gauge is super easy to bend. Let me grab, Let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna need some tools. I guess the key here is take your time. I'm just crisscrossing this wire a little bit. And, oh man, my stomach's growling. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if you could hear that. I hope you can't hear it. I think I kind of like this lazy little wrap here. Let me, this is what I mean about the wire giving you ideas. Kind of like our little guy's meandering, and this is his trail, if that makes sense. This is the part where you tell people, I meant to do that. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, you start thinking, eh, that doesn't look so good. Well, you just take it apart and you start over. Um... It's not, it's wire. It's wire and beads. So, you know, this is not like the neatest thing I've ever done, but I do kind of like it. So let's see. And the thing about it is too, say I decide tonight I, I don't like this. Um, now I kind of know ahead of time that I might want to have this guy made ahead of time to hook him on somewhere before I get started um, is something I think I've learned from this. <laughs> uh, and, you know, the tail too, but I think this is turning out okay. We will neaten it up too. So let me push those in. And then any little pieces um, that are loose or that you're gonna trim, you can trim in the back here where no one's gonna see right in there. No one's gonna get scratched. All right, let's see. Let me neaten that up a bit. I kinda like the undulating wire. Let me, I'm going to bend that a little. Might as well use it to our advantage since it's doing that anyway. We're going to make it look like it, we meant to do it. And then this guy's kind of bugging me. So I think I'm going to come back here and I'm going to just make it a little tighter. And how you can do that is by just bending it a little in the back. Just a little bend if it'll let me. Might need these. There we go. 
See how that's bent now? And then we have this piece of wire, which let's see. I'm gonna push him back up through here. Also, it gets warm with your hands while you're while you're um, wrapping. I'm just continuing this up so I can anchor it somewhere, somewhere back here. Sometimes playing with the wire, it's like going down the rabbit hole. <laughs> you know? Okay. Let me tuck him in. Okay, so I've tucked that in so that the loose piece, I mean the piece is sticking out. So let me just take a look at this really quick. So now you can play with where things are. I think I want a little bit more curve in this guy. I think he needs to come forward. Yeah. Not the neatest wrap I've ever done. Maybe we should play with those undulations a little more. I don't want to scratch my wire. Yeah. I need to get some of that tool magic. All right. Well, that was an experiment. <laughs> and you can kind of, ooh, look at that. That's kind of cool. So you can play with that a lot. And I'm going to stop here. I could do more or take it apart and do other things. But for the sake of finishing the project and moving on, we need to move on. But this is just a fun way to just play with wire. And again, if you don't like it, you take it apart and you try it again. I'm okay with this. I don't think this is something um, that I'm necessarily 100% satisfied with, but I I like it. We'll see how it looks on the necklace. If you know, and that's the other thing too with the boho look. Um, it's a more cat. You're not doing something that's so elegant that you can't have like a handmade look to it. If you know what I mean. So. Let's talk about our piece. I think I think we're just going to hang, do like a triple hang thing. I know that makes no sense, <laughs> what I just said, what I'm going to show you. Uh, we've made things like this before. I'm just going to make a little metal piece to hang off of this, this chain right here, this... Um, Why can I not think of that? Silver silk. Actually, what we could do. No, nope. I know what I know what I want to do. Okay. Back to the drawing board. So we're gonna take this. This is the 18 gauge again. And let me just straighten that up a bit. And I'm just going to make three loops and I think I will make a big loop in the center just like this and then we're gonna 
open this guy up. Let's attach our piece we just made. And we will close that. Now, I want these this to be flat. I'm going to do a smaller loop on either side. And I think I like that. So I'm using the next size down. We're just going to wrap it around our bail like that. Let's do the next one. So now we have this. So now we're going to add our uh, we're going to need some jump rings for those. Let's see here. So before I add those on, I'm going to make this. I want this to curve. So I'm just using my little wire thing here, and I'm just going to curve it. Just so slightly, just like that. Whoops, there goes my wire. But I think we're done with it for now. So now we need, oh, so now these pieces that are sticking up, let me get rid of this. This is just a really simple loop. You could do a wrap loop if you want. I am just going to make loops like this. So if you look at it from the side, it's sticking out that way because we're going to thread this piece through here. In fact, I think I'm going to do that now. Just so I know it fits. Okay, so let's do this other one. I might need to trim some of that. So see how that's, there's our loops in the front. And then we just did loops on the side. And if you need to, let me just make a little room for our, let's just hook that back on there like that. We can adjust that later. So there is our silver silk I think this is pipe chain is what he's what he calls it and then we can bend this just let me just bend this a little bit more so it's got a little bit more curve cool let me grab a couple jump rings This is turning out to be a longer project than I expected, but I think once we get the string on, the beads will take no time at all. This was the longest. And, you know, you could do as much or as little as you want. You could just leave the pendant and just hang it, you know. You don't have to do all of this. But I just wanted to play. That's how I learn. And you can benefit from whatever I <laughs> encounter while I'm experimenting. But I really encourage you to just take some wire and play with it, you know? 
like I said, the, the worst thing that happens is you take it apart and you start over. But sometimes when, it, when the stuff works out, it's pretty darn cool. And then you can take that technique and add it to the next piece that you make. So on and so forth. Now, I probably should have put the soft flex through that pipe chain, but it's pretty good. It slides through there pretty good. The soft flex is just, I tell you, the soft flex and the silver silk, they just play nice together. If you've never tried the silver silk, I really, really encourage you. I am going to make sure that Neelay's website is um, in my description. And... He's got Facebook group too and does classes and live sales and all kinds of fun stuff also. And also he is just super sweet and adorable. So I definitely would check him out. So here is our very long winded piece that we made. <laughs> now you could do extra and wrap, you know, make it real fancy if you want. We're not going to do that tonight. I'm gonna grab our saw flex so we can get to stringing. So I want you to see how cool this looks when you slide it through the silver silk. It's a lot of fun. This is the amethyst color of the saw flex. And forgive me, but I don't remember the name of this color, but I will link it. So now we're gonna take those little holes I showed you right there, we're gonna slide this right through there. And see how it pops out the other side? Is that fun or what? Now you got the purple and the green, which I thought was so fun. And now we can string. Yay! I bet you thought I'd never get to that point. <laughs> All right, so I grabbed a couple. I grabbed a bunch of different bead caps. Um, I think these little fluted guys, like I said, on on Neelay's website, he's got things you can put on the end, um, different connectors and things, and then uh, he also teaches classes um, through. Uh, Jesse James Beads, he's taught a lot of classes, um, like the Winter Workshop and the Summer Camp. So definitely check him out. So I'm adding these little bead caps. And now we're just going to do a simple stringing. Uh, I do want to do some of this deep green. So let's grab... Oh, and I love these, these little bright green pops of color. And we'll just do a couple of these. I just thought this bright green was a fun addition to the palette. And we definitely want to do some purple. Let's see. Or some periwinkle, rather. Pardon my arm. Ooh, that's so pretty. I think I got these bead caps from Bargain Bead Box as well. They always have really good metals. All right. And I do want to add another one of these to pick up the one we've got on our... Let's 
let's grab some electroplated to match our dragonfly. I'm just playing a little bit, oops, <laughs> playing a little bit of a match game right now. Another one of these guys. Very soon, I'm going to have a different contraption for my phone. I found something that I'm not going to be bumping into all the time. Uh, but I'm saving for it. So uh, the situation where I keep bumping is going to improve, I promise. Okay, and let's grab some amethyst. Again, I, I'm not doing a complicated stringing because we want all the focus to be on the front. And also this really fun stuff from Silver Silk. So I think I'm going to stop there. I do want to add one little... bead cap just to finish that off. Again, these are the bead caps that came in the box. All right, and then we're just gonna do a simple toggle. So I'm gonna put the toggle on and we'll take a look at this um, all finished. Okay, so we've got our really pretty necklace made with our dragonfly focal bead. And I really do like it. Um, it is very rustic looking, I would say. <laughs> and uh, I may I may redo it, I may not. Haven't really decided yet. Um, and the other thing I'm gonna change is I did do a toggle, but this pendant is super heavy. So, uh, for security's sake and comfort of wearing, uh, I think what I may change up on this is I may take some of those dragonfly connectors that, uh, came in the box, these guys, and, uh, I may put some silk back here, uh, along with the, of course, the soft flex, and then maybe a purple or a periwinkle or green. That's an idea because um, this is pretty heavy. So something to think about. I didn't think about how heavy that was. Uh, this string will hold it for sure. And you could put, I would probably do a lobster if you were just gonna keep it with the, um, and that would be comfortable too with the soft flex. It would be more secure with the lobster. You could just keep this and add a big lobster. Uh, I'm just worried that this would possibly come off or not be comfortable. So some options there. It's not a, you know, it's finished for tonight, but that's the thing about designing jewelry. I think that's important. I have probably, oh gosh, 40 or 50 different things that I've started and not finished. And I'm sure you do too. And you, you kind of get to a point where you're like, well, I'm not quite sure if I want to like this or if I want to redo it. So it's okay to put those aside and think about them and revisit them. Sometimes uh, you're stuck with something and you're not sure you're, you know, you don't hate it, but you don't love it. And it's, that's okay. That's part of the process. So I would say that probably is in the category for me here. I like some things about this. Um, I love, love, love using the silver silk with the, um, soft flex. I just, it's so much fun. And the colors that he has available are super nice and they go great with the soft flex. So please do give that a try. If you've not ever used it, you will love it. You can do so many things with it. Uh, I know he has a blog that shows different projects. Um, and you know, like I said, I may rework this. I may not. We'll just see. Uh, and you know, sometimes it goes in the 
I'm not sure pile until I want to revisit it again and then maybe we do something new. But I did learn a lot from doing this, so don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to try any of this. Um, the worst thing, like I said, that can happen is you redo it later. But you learn always when you make something. So don't be afraid. Be courageous. Give it a try. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I guess this was more about experimenting than anything else, but that's really what I do. And that's how I create jewelry. So um, I think it's just, you know, you learn techniques, you try them out, you try to combine them, you try to make them yours. And that with the color knowledge and some spectacular, you know, products that you can find out there, you can really do some cool things. So thanks so much for joining me tonight. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the wonderful comments. I'm glad a lot of you really loved those dragonflies last night. That was a lot of fun. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow night. I'm going to have a uh, unboxing of a new uh, bead subscription type thing that I've never ever tried before. So I thought we would look at that together tomorrow night. And then I have another special project that I've been working on that I will share with you Thursday night. So stay tuned for all of that. Uh, take care of yourselves and be safe. Uh, good health to you and your families. And I will see you on the next video.